Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. My name is Hakata, and welcome everyone to the Mailbag Showdown, where I answer questions based on anime and otaku culture in general. If you would like to send an email for me to answer on this show, you can at Mailbag Showdown at GlassReflection.net. That is Mailbag Showdown at GlassReflection.net. I don't have much to say now in today's intro, so without any further ado, let's get started. Hello, Arcata. I want to ask you about character development. It seems that it is a rare thing in anime. I mean, I can recall some anime like Helsing, Soul Eater, Evangelion, kind of, where characters change throughout the series, but there are a lot more anime where the main hero's personality stays the same to the end. What do you think of it? And what anime do you think shows us the most interesting changes in character personality? Well, I don't know why there's a lot of anime that just don't seem to have a lot of character development, mainly because I don't think character development sells. There's a lot of things that I've noticed with anime that all depends on what sells, and actually that's almost the same with any medium. For example, a lot of the, the moe, maybe romantic harem or school comedy genre shows don't have a lot of character development because that's not what their particular audiences are interested in. But it has been done very well in anime before. Um, two of my favorite examples is um, uh, Katsuhiro from uh, Samurai 7, who goes from this this kind of weird trainee samurai into this sort of badass who doesn't know what the hell he's doing. It's a really interesting flip for him over the course of the series, and it's fun to watch and also kind of facepalming to watch at times, but it, it still stands as a good example. And I think one of the best examples that I have, um, off the top of my head at least, is uh, Yagami Light from uh, Death Note. And uh, his, his is most prominent because um, there is the point halfway through the series where he reverts back to how he was at the beginning. Because uh, it's this slow build that he's um, becoming corrupted by the Death Note. And he, he starts off nice and innocent, then he slowly gets corrupted. And then there's this period of time in the middle where he goes back to before he had the Death Note. And, and he's back in being innocent again before returning to being uh, the very dark and I want to take over the world light. And that was always fun to watch, and uh, that is one character development plot that um, I really do applaud. So I hope that answers your question, and next up. I was wondering if you could recommend a few new anime for me. I really like romance, but there are other kinds I like too, like Ghost Hunt. But I also like Cardcaptor Sakura, Fruits Basket, Canon, Full Moon, Woe, Sagashite, which name I probably pronounced wrong, Pleach Teacher slash Onigai Sensei, and Please Twins slash Onigai Twins, Inurasha, and Kabato. Well, based on those, I have three suggestions for you. The first one being Clanad and Clanad Afterstory, being a highly romantic anime and one of my favorites. Same goes for EF Tale of Memories. And lastly, there is a show that I haven't seen yet, but seems to fit your given list so far, which is a show called Tenshi Moyo. And again, I haven't seen it myself, so I can't totally vouch for how good it is, but it might do you well, so try it out and let me know. Okay, next up. Dear Sir, I am too an anime reviewer, and the people who have been reading my reviews have been asking me to do more guy series. Which is hard, considering I'm a girl who loves cute and funny, but I have watched some anime in the past, like Afro Samurai, Dragon Ball Z, Fairy Tale, and Dead Men Wonderland, but I just can't seem to find any that I like. I've also gotten into the um, Haku Yoki franchise, another name that I can't pronounce well, game and all, and I was wondering if you could recommend anything that has that sort of historical feel, but with the action themes that my readers have been asking for. I appreciate your help, and if you haven't heard of it, you don't know a lot of fangirls, do you? Anyway, thanks for the help. Well, obviously, I guess I don't have many fangirls, because this is actually the first time I've fully noticed it. Though, looking at the, the images that um, I, I've seen of it through Google search and uh, Animes News Network now, I have seen it before, but it's just not something that uh, registered in my mind. Now, I have three shows that seem similar to that one that might do well with a more male audience, and hopefully you would somewhat enjoy it. And those uh, three are Samurai 7, uh, a samurai show called Sengoku Basara, which is kind of on the low end of this, and, of course, uh, Roroni Kenshin, which is almost the quintessential samurai show in anime ever. Now, I have no idea if any of those would um, kind of fit your tastes personally, and I know they would probably do very well for your male viewers, so I hope that helps out, and uh, if you need any more help, please let me know. Next up. Hello, Arcata. Can you please give me a recommendation? I love shows like Clan Ad, Air, and Canon, and I've already seen Angel Beats and Anohana. Could you recommend me an anime like those? Thanks. Okay, three off the top of my head. Fruits Basket, Bakimogatari, and EF Tale of Memories. All of which would probably do you very, very well. Hopefully that helps you out. All right, next question. Good morning or good evening, Ark. Wherever you may be, I have a question for you. Clever using my intro against me. Hmm, I shall have to watch you very closely. You made a list of background music a while back. Thank you for that. I have found lots of great music that way. But I was curious, have you added the battle music for Madoka Magica? I can't seem to find the name of it at this moment. But it's the song that plays in the first scene that we see. The thing with that is um, the, the, the song in question is called Magica, and it's actually the ending song of the show. So there's two points here. One, it wasn't released when I did uh, my original top list. But two, even if it was, it's an ending theme. 
So all of the entries that I had on that list were insert songs. They weren't openings or endings. So even though it is displayed during the show as one of the main battle themes, it is still also the ending theme. So it's one of the reasons why it would not be eligible for that list. So that should have answered your question. Thank you for your email. And I'm still watching you. Always watching you. And that's it for me from today. I hope you have enjoyed these wonderful, wonderful answers that I have given you out of these questions, and thank you for sending in your questions to those who have. If you would like to send in a question, you can at mailbagshoutdown at glassreflection.net. That is mailbagshoutdown at glassreflection.net. And until next time, ladies, gentlemen, and others, stay frosty.